Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe with Clark. Um, this one starts on an interesting note. Something happens at the very start that is panic-inducing. <laughs> but after that, um, we finally find the third pick the third Pikmin type from Pikmin 1. AKA the blue Pikmin. And then we have a frantic day looking for new fruit. Credits are in the description and have a good one. Again, there's a whole night. Oh, a bunch of bosses. Oh, I guess cutscene time. <laughs> what? If you if you experience a big surprise, then being asleep would be the worst way to deal with it. Wow, this thing wants to kill me. I'm gonna sit there lifeless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. <laughs> it knocked him out. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Flop. <laughs> Z Z Z. Yes. Yes, Captain Olimar. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> We're gonna slap him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try slapping him. <laughs> She's gonna slap him anyway, and he's gonna be. Oh man! <laughs> the next morning. The next morning. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and he runs away. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> Where did this ground come from? That's a great way of saying, why did we land? Yeah, the ground just came up to meet us in space, you know. From my reference frame, yeah. the oh planet no. was moving towards Almost me. Almost disappeared. And your rubber ducky! Oh no, what a traitor. He stole your duck. What did you say? <laughs> wow, we gotta kill him. <laughs> that villainous pig. Yeah. Now we know that Kopai has pigs. They're tiny. Yeah. Tiny little pigs. We must hunt him down. Call Samus. <laughs> yeah, call, also, call um, the bounty if, hunters. Also, if you notice, we have zero days of fruit. So we have to do this now. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> well, I mean, we can end, you know, the day and, you know, come back to it later. We can, we can exit the title screen and come back to it later. But yes, right now, we have to get a fruit. <laughs> we have to get at least a well, single fruit crap, today. we cleared this map out earlier. Except for one area. That, for some reason, Louie managed to explode. <laughs> Wait, what did he explode? So he ran out and blew up a bridge? No, you, you remember that cinder block wall? Oh, he blew that up. Yeah. And Very look at nice that. and plot relevant. Yeah, and, and look at that little um wow. spider, blue spidery thing. We have water Pikmin now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, then, then my guess as to how this is going to go is we pick up the water Pikmin, we build a bridge... And while we're building the bridge, then we can find Olimar and kick his ass. I mean, return him we're to the ship. We're not going to find him yet. <laughs> wow, spoilers. You mean we're not going <laughs> to immediately find him for plot reasons? Yeah. We're not going to find him until the next boss. <laughs> wow, spoilers. Two, two boss fights. <laughs> we should have just left him there for dead, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh Okay. I'm playing Panic as Brittany now. <laughs> um Nope. You know what? I'll get fifty two. It's my playthrough after all. Wait. It's mine, why shouldn't I okay. keep it? Yeah. 
I'll grab a few, but for the most part, I'm gonna leave it. Oh, yeah, because the water Pikmin, I'm yep. stupid. Don't Wait. head towards the bull orb. Yeah, <laughs> I just realized that. So he blew up this cinder block. How did he do it? Well, he never really answers that. The game never does either. Kaboom. Cleared a path. He just got a bomb on him or what? Okay, um, I'm gonna go over here and pick up the brand new... Wait, can I use the flying Pikmin to pick this guy up? Yeah, but don't walk into the water. <laughs> you don't have exclusively uh, flying Pikmin on you. I got him. Okay. I want to watch this. Ta-da! Maybe start breaking down that wall in the distance. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll worry about the water Pikmin. I love how it washes itself <laughs> yeah. off. That's so cute. Wow. Bloop. Dude. Okay. I'm gonna call the pinks. Yeah, you know what? Why, why did I just deal with the uh, water Pikmin and you can deal with everyone else? Does that sound okay. like a plan? What do you think? Unless you have any objections. Do you have any objections? <laughs> if I, As long as I get to see Speak the cutscenes- Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> As long as I get to see the cute little cutscenes of the Pikmin, I am okay. Okay. Yeah, they better be. They're in water. Are you okay with this? No, I've just learned to cope. So yeah, go around with it and see if you can find maybe wow. the bridge pieces. I have a whole army. Yeah, get the bridge pieces, um... And grab, oh, yeah. grab fruit as soon as possible. Do you have enough? Do you have enough uh, blues to get I that? I will. I will have enough blues and uh, shortly. Okay. No, I don't want to focus on that. Come on, man. I don't need your negativity. Blam. Oh, I don't. I'm not going to throw him. Oh, you know what? Come back here. Wait, why are they floating around the... Hey, look at that! I found a blue for you. These pinks. The, uh, the blue token has been retrieved. Okay. So, get your blues over here. Yeah, I'll, uh, when, when they walk this way, yeah, you just call all of your Pikmin off once they dig it up. Right. There you go. Ta-da! Call them off. Call everyone off. And I'll grab it. Okay. Okay. Now... I need blue ones? No. For that, you just need, uh, pinks. Okay, I'm gonna check the map real quick. Okay, there's a fruit! See. There's a fruit right underneath my... There's oh, there a is? fruit... In the water right next to me. Okay. I'll, I'll worry about getting that fruit. It's a strawberry. Okay. And I think I can jump um, across that point. It looks like we're probably going to have to split up the blue Pikmin, I think, between the two of us. Because it looks like there's not much we can do on land here. Looks like everything's in the water. Well, once I figure out what's going on here... Okay. Yeah. Because they're pulling this out. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, look, it's another blue. There we go. You can take this guy. All right. Um, so I guess send the rest of the Pikmin, Pikmin back to the onion, I think. This part, this part of the map. Oh, wait. I got... Oh. There's some nectar, Jonathan. I can't use it because none of my Pikmin are leaf. Well. These guys can. Okay. I don't need you can any just of them, do ZL. or them. You can do the all types, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I I remembered that now. Okay. Cool. So now it's just <clears throat> Brittany and Charlie. Yep. And this guy. Come back. Oh. Cripes! This is bad. Okay. There we go. Here, you can take these Pikmin. 
This and one no turned, water adventuring. This one turned blue. Come on. I saw it. All right. I see the strawberry. Nice. Okay. And there's still some nectar left. Okay, I got the strawberry. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't worry about that. There's there's bigger fish to fry. We're frying fish? Yeah. Didn't you get the memo? Oh, there's a fish. Alright. I got it. Come back to the blue yeah, onion the and you can just collect a, collect a bunch of the, um... Oh. Uh... Wow, it's real deep in there. Oh look, there's more bricks. Okay, all those other Pikmin are, are yours. At the blue onion. The ones that need plucking? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get them some nectar until I run out of that. You should be focusing on getting fruits. We have a fruit though. Yes. Oh, we have to completely restart our fruit supply? Yes. Crap. <laughs> I thought it was just for one day. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, our fruit supply is gone currently, and Great. it's not going to come back until we grab Louie. <laughs> okay, well, there's 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 bricks down here. There's a fruit over here, except things want to kill us over there. Crap. Oh, yeah, there is a yellow. We really... Okay, so there's a need for yellow, but we really just... Here. Why don't you see about... I um, think I could complete yeah. the bridge with the bricks from the bottom okay yeah sure go for that and then once you do that see about getting that um yeah unless they're unless the sea creatures are gonna kill me well and kill the sea creatures first <laughs> thank you <laughs> um hmm yep. so see these guys i actually is that just a regular goldfish or is he gonna kill no, us no he will try to kill oh, you oh great no well target him in charge yep Wow, there that, you go. That was super effective. Okay. Yeah, get a bunch of yellows. Ooh, oh, look, um, there's another fruit. I could drag that back. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. So then I got another game mechanics question once they're done. Nice. So, see this orange? Oh, wait, never mind. I can... Wow, look at that. An underwater barrier. Okay. So now everybody's gonna return. I love how I can throw them, but <laughs> hey, it's also in the water. <laughs> Flop! Kaboom! <laughs> I used one of our spicy berries. That's awesome. That was instantaneous. Okay. Also, if you can spare some blue Pikmin, I have a whole bunch of kills, including a massive red bulborb. <laughs> Underwater? No, above ground. Cool. Well, I'm gonna bring this orange back. How are they gonna get that over the... Oh, that's the puzzle, isn't it? Crap. Yeah. Well, never mind. I know that this bridge is complete now. Yeah. Um, because there's another fruit over here, if I can kill whatever this guy is. Should I just charge him? I'm gonna charge him from the back, because he's asleep. just asleep again? Okay. Blam. Kablam. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get some rock Pikmin. <laughs> um, 
go grab... Actually, yeah, why, why don't you go ahead and grab all of those blue Pikmin. <laughs> Just grab every single one. And grab all your dead guys. Yep, and grab all my dead guys with them. And I'll worry about the uh, crystal since I have all the rock Pikmin with me. All right, nectar's gone. Fruit is acquired. Wait, do you have an? Do you have enough? You should head um over here. Are there blues over there so that you can make that fruit a blue fruit? Because I can it come back. It doesn't matter. It's well, I a could get fruit. I could get twice. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm just so it used. It goes to the Drake. I'm so not the used onion. to caring about <laughs> that stuff. Okay. But yeah, you should head over there. Over. I pointed it out on the map. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, head over here where this uh, gray dot is. And that's a fruit? That's an enemy. That's a dead enemy. Yep. Nice. It's a okay. dead enemy. A dead enemy. Yep, so head left yes. from your current location. That's not left. You might want to check the map. Uh, There should be five stray Pikmin total, and they should be carrying that fruit back. Oh, you, you got the enemy? Yes. Okay. But I'm going Hang to... Hang on a minute. Um... Okay, right. I'm going to charge these Gosh, guys and get around. this fruit as soon as it turns blue. Blam! No. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. It did turn blue. Take that. And now... Okay. Alright. I'm gonna put all my Pikmin back in the onion. Cool. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Because I so gotta those protect are the, this Those guy. are the only two left. Wow, look at all those guys. I'm Let's, not gonna pluck yeah. any of them. <laughs> yep. So they only need to survive tonight, and then I can pick them up? Yep. Okay, cool. Um... You know what? That wall there, it's just sitting there mocking me. <laughs> what? I'm gonna take okay, out that I, I wall. I wanna see what, what you're gonna do here. Oh, you're gonna take the- yeah. Might as well. Might as well, you have time. Wow, I thought that was gonna take forever. Well, when you have like- Five 70, ever. when you have like 80 Pikmin yeah. on Oh, I get another data file. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read all these data files, but not today. Wait, where are the the data files? They're all are... here. Yeah. Okay. There's wait. There's 36. Yeah. Oh, it said it showed that they were red Pikmin, and I was confused. I thought that we had 36 red Pikmin to find. No. Good. Good catch. <laughs> oh, look, a flower. Yeah, then we're gonna we're gonna combine the flowers. There he is. Gosh darn it, I was so close. Ah yes, the become one with the, the big warping. Blurp. It's increased in size again. Well, yeah. Where do you think the mass is going? You don't think the Drake is going to get absorbed too? <laughs> Just you wait. They're going to be absorbed too. Well, if I had known that Louie is going to run away with our entire food supply, maybe I would have left more fruit on these other sites. <laughs> Just so that I could pick him up later instead of having him take them. Yep. So we've we've had well, some. Well, that's the thing, though. You didn't know, because this is a blind playful playthrough for you. For you. <laughs> I love the sun seed berry. So I guess you could say this is a partial blind playthrough. Well, okay. You didn't tell me. I'm happy you didn't, but <laughs> yeah. you didn't. Well, of course, I'm not going to spoil something as dramatic as that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The pocked airhead. Hey, you're a pocked airhead. Do we get our fruit back? Yes, we do get our fruit back eventually. 
Good, because otherwise I'd be pissed. <laughs> the searing acid shock. Oh. Wow, I could totally go for a fruit smoothie right about now. <laughs> a fruit blizzard? Yeah, if Jamba Juice is... <laughs> if Jamba Juice is open... Oh, hey, there we go. Now we have three days. Four. Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wonder what she would say if you were running low on your food supply. Oh, um, Good thing we now have more than we did when he stole it. <laughs> yeah. I believe I have seen what happens when uh, you when you run out of juice. It basically goes to a scene where like Alf or somebody's just sitting in the ship and they're and he and it just with a big game over side above their head and he just says, "If if only we'd planned better." <laughs> so does that mean they have to fly back or do they just die? Um, they probably just die. Oof. <laughs> because without the cosmic drive key. Which is basically their hyperdrive. They can't get back to any planet. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least not in time to, you know, not starve. Not starve to death. <laughs> so, wow, we only had one death. I'm surprised. I'm always surprised at the lack of deaths. Oh, yeah. He, he also, uh, the, the, the character also occasionally moans so hungry during, on the game over screen. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> He's slowly starving to death. Yeah, this is a Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> then again, Met the Metroid universe like gets really messed up. <laughs> well, so does Disney too. And in America, Disney's like the gold standard of nice stories that don't scare kids. Those stories can still scare kids. I yeah. was a kid. I remember. Well, it's like some of the stuff that happens in, in like Metroid is just straight up messed up from even an adult's perspective. Right. <laughs> Thank goodness we were able to dig the onion out. Yeah, what would have happened if we hadn't? Well, then again... We would have been just been dead, so nobody would write about it. There was that one fruit above the ground, though, that I got. Oh, yeah. We would have lived for two Another days. Another day. Yeah. <laughs> because then, at that point, we were out of fruit. We would have had to travel to a different area to grab more fruit. The blue Pikmin may very well have been on the verge of extinction. Well, with animals... It seems to happen a lot in the Pikmin universe. <laughs> you would think... You know, every single time you come across an onion, it just has a single Pikmin in it. Right. <laughs> so you would think, for example, that since this world has been untouched by humans Which makes for... it even weirder, considering that at the very end of Pikmin 1, the uh, at least if you get the good ending, and not the ending where Almar gets turned into a Pikmin... Oh... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's something that happens. Okay. <laughs> Um, if if you fail to get your ship repaired in time, they just Al eat you. Almar will try to take off, but then the, uh, the then the dolphin will just crash back into the ground and explode. Nasty. Um, and, and then, then and then you'll just see this little cutscene where the Pikmin come pick up Almar, carry him back to their onion. <laughs> he gets sucked up into the onion, dude. And then a, and then a little seed that that that's that's Almar's head with a little Pikmin sprout sprout pops out of the <laughs> onion and goes planting dude. into the ground. Wow, brutal. Um, <laughs> that's granted. That's like the bad ending. <laughs> destroyed by the natives. Um, <laughs> um, but either way, like, yeah. But you would think that since but since the humans yeah, are obviously something dead, I was trying to point out before all this is yes. that um, in the good ending, um, that where that doesn't happen, <laughs> and also the canonical ending, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, there's this little cutscene that after Almar takes off, the Pikmin start going off and attacking things on their own. Implying they got smart. Implying they learned. Huh. And yet, apparently they didn't. Well, Unless all those Pikmin die well, <laughs> and weren't able to pass on their knowledge. <laughs> does, does our world map look exactly like Pikmin 1's world map? I mean, Pikmin 1 and 2 don't exactly have a world map. Well, then you could chalk it up to saying Olimar was in a different region, and these regions that is weren't true. those guys. But yeah, it is kind of weird. You it is entirely possible that, in fact, other than, like, in Pikmin 2, you actually come back to a um, map one of the areas in, yeah. uh, from Pikmin 1. However, when you come back, it, the area is heavily changed. 
Um, like, not just, like, with enemies, but also ge ge geographically it's changed. Does that mean... And the ship even makes note of that. It's just like, huh, things have changed since the last time we were here. Not to mention the fact that there's time distortions. Um, in the cave systems in Pikmin 2, you the mean... ship literally says that, like, there's a weird time distortion down here that causes time not to really flow. That's weird. Well, I, that's a good way to justify being in a cave, but... Yeah, because also, there, there's there is no, no sunset timer when you're in caves in Pikmin 2. Right, you could take forever in there. Yeah. <laughs> um... And, 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 of course, the, <laughs> the game chalks it up to being, there's some weird timey-wimey stuff. <laughs> timey-wimey. I love timey-wimey stuff. But... Yeah, you would. So, what did they explain? How did they explain that the geography was different? Did they say they that the don't? They just say it was different. Does that mean and the, that it was weird that it was different? The Pikmin <laughs> just built it. Um, but since the humans, oh no, they're humans because this is a weird version of planet Earth. Since the humans have been gone for so long that we don't see any of them, you would expect like. You know, nature regrows or whatever, so you would expect the ecosystem to be rebalanced and the Pikmin to be everywhere. Yeah. But instead, there's only one of them in this onion. Yeah. Which either means there's a bunch of onions out there with single Pikmin, or we've now saved multiple Pikmin That's... species from extinction for no good uh, reason. The former is probably the more likely, because there's it... just a whole bunch of different onions, um... Onions spread out across the planet. I mean, there's an orange onion and there's a green onion, but we I don't mean, see them. I mean, at the end of like, I think it was either Pikmin one or two or both. Um, as you're leaving the planet for the last time in that game, um, like Almer looks down at the planet and sees hundreds of onions of just all colors of the rainbow taking off. Oh, that's him. cool. <laughs> okay, so you really could have yeah other Pikmin. Yeah. Why? Oh, we're not going to play it. I wanted to see if this was... Oh. After Clearing Storm. It's a prologue. Yeah. Or pro post log. <laughs> what is that? Epilogue. Epilogue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Epilogue, not post log. Because we've already done all these. Yeah. But yeah. I have no knowledge of what the epilogue is. Um... I just know a little bit about what happens at the end of the canonical game here. Um, there is some interesting things that happen at the end of this game. Are there any more zones than this? There is one more zone, although it's in, although it's very small, and the entire zone is dedicated to the final boss of the game. Okay, well, I'm going to not ask about that. Yeah. 